Jefferson Memorial. Cherry blossoms are out in full bloom around the tidal basin here. The cherry blossoms are peaking. The squirrel's telling you, don't pick the blossoms or climb on the tree. You will be fine. Look at all the people down here. It's a gorgeous day down here in our nation's capital. Hey everybody, it's Mark the Lost Traveler and we're ready to travel. We've got the Washington Monument behind us and this is the peak of cherry blossom season and around the uh, mall area and the monuments, this place is packed. Trying to go for the money shots here. Along with everybody else. These are like the money shots everybody takes. They look for some uh, cherry blossoms and they get behind a monument. That was the Washington Monument and the pan over here. Jefferson Memorial. Franklin Delano Roosevelt, President of the United States, 1933 to 1945. Oh, this park is beautiful here. Some nice waterfalls there. There he is with his dog. The man, Roosevelt. Says, I see one third of the nation ill housed, ill clad, and ill nourished. And these guys are waiting to get inside, and you can stand behind them. Got a lot of professional photographers down here taking all kinds of portraits and things. Now we're walking our way down to the Martin Luther King Memorial. Out of the Mountain of Despair, a stone of hope. Pretty awe-inspiring. We got flowers down here. We had Martin Luther King Jr. birthday last week. Now there's a beautiful shot. Well, we started over there at the Jefferson Memorial and gone around the Ellipse Pond here. It's amazing the perspective of everybody taking pictures on what they think is the best shot. All the different varieties of cameras, <laughs> iPads, iPhones, GoPros, every type of camera, camera lens. Everybody looking for that perfect shot. It's the police. particular tree here, Japanese cherry tree, planted April 6, 1965 by Mrs. Lyndon B. Johnson, wife of the President of the United States. Nineteen sixty five by Lady Bird Johnson. She would be impressed. As of all these trees here. <laughs> Looking for that money shot again. Everybody thought cherry trees were just uh, cherry looking colored or pink or red. But they're uh, white and pink. And then over here you got a little pink and purple. Cherry Blossom Festival here in a couple days. I know, but I wish you could. Yeah, do a little uh, boat in here. They don't have the big swans out today, though. Well, 
I say one thing, there's always uh, helicopters flying around here. Uh, presidential helicopters without the president yet. And then uh, a lot of police helicopters. Along with thousands of people down here. Best way to get around town, on Capitol Bike. The United States Department of Agriculture. The Beer Gallery of Art. Now we're in here. Now we are entering where all the Smithsonian's are at. Love this building, the Smithsonian Institution. The Smithsonian Sculpture Garden. And in front of us, probably the most popular Smithsonian downtown here is the Air and Space Museum. The other Air and Space Museum is at Dulles Airport, which houses the Concorde and one of the space shuttles. <laughs> Here we are, the Air and Space Museum. We'll do a little bobbing and weaving in traffic. National Museum of the American Indian. There is so much to see down here. If you've never been to Washington, I would highly recommend it. Nothing like it in the world. How's it going? Staying warm? Staying warm? Oh yeah, nice out today. A lot of monuments around here. Sculptures, statues. Here's a beautiful shot of the Washington Capitol. All right, getting a little up close and personal here. Right on top of the Capitol. place might be more heavily armed than Fort Knox. They're watching everybody's move out here. Even guards on the roof. Right, right in front of us there, Library of Congress. There's another way to get around town, skateboard. Photo opportunities in front of the Supreme Court. National Gallery of Art. Like I said earlier, which I always repeat myself, this is not even the tip of the iceberg. There is just so much stuff to see down here. You could literally spend one day in each of the Smithsonian and you probably still wouldn't see it all National History Museum that is a great building there I love that building good hit. Museum of American History. The National
National Museum of African American History and Culture. Definitely have to come back down here and check that out. Here you go, hop on, hop off bus. This is the Department of the Treasury. I think we're going to take a left turn here to Pennsylvania Avenue. first lived here back as a kid, back in the early 80s, you could drive down this road here, park your car right in front of the White House, not anymore. A lot of people down here in front of the White House. Usually you see a lot of uh, protesters, but I don't see any protesters today. Oh, here we go. We got some life matters. Still a few people. Not as bad as I thought. Of course, it wasn't why it wasn't like last week when all the protesters were up here marching. I thought it was gunfire. by their train station. I'm not sure though. Oh. I don't want to give you the wrong directions. I think there was one. Send you in the wrong way. <laughs> so many shots you could take of this city. Just turned out to be a gorgeous day. I don't know how many miles I put in today, but we're gonna start heading back towards the airport. Like I said earlier, I don't know if you guys heard that blowout, but it was my bike tire, so I had to go get that fixed, and that was like a mile walk to the uh to the bike place washington dc traffic cherry blossoms are at their peak they started yesterday and they should last until the parade on the 14th so we still probably got about five miles or so to go so let's get it thank you Alright, bye. pretty much where we started in front of the Jefferson here oh uh, these planes are fighting this wind man it's really windy out here these things are all over the place
bike loaded in the truck. Came out to be a really nice day. I put the old sunglasses and hat on. But I uh, hope you like this video. Uh, I know it was all over the place. Uh, just uh, trying to give you a little uh, taste of Washington, D.C. Uh, between biking, then I had a walk about probably a half a mile because I didn't have my spare with me, so my tire blew out. And I go, had to go find a bike shop. But uh, cherry blossoms were gorgeous this year. And if you ever get a chance to come down here uh, or over or wherever you're from to see these, there was a lot of people here today. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And on that note, Traveler out.